Well, howdy, boys and girls. It's another arcade playthrough with your boy, Verissa Militude. Today, it's back to Street Fighter Alpha 2. And it's my boy, Akuma. Akuma is, quite frankly, one of the most deadly fighters in any fighting game. Um, they put him into Tekken 7, and he's fit in there perfectly in my eyes. So, uh, yeah, I love the guy. He's pretty amazing. And I gotta say, this intro, I think is one of the best intros to any Street Fighter game. This is the greatest game ever made in my eyes. Um, not just the greatest fighter, the greatest game. I, this is my number one game of all time. It's why I always go back to it. And this is my second video commentary for Alpha 2. The last one I did was Ryu. Okay, here we are in round one. Birdie. Now this has got to be the most <laughs> weird background ever i don't think i really need to explain that any further do i i mean just look at the background it's a man's urinal and uh there's some guy shaking his leg behind one of the doors those two guys seem to be i don't know standing there for quite a while and then there's an old man standing there it just gets weirder trust me this is just like the weirdest stage ever I don't know what Capcom was thinking when they made this one. It's just really, really odd. <laughs> Not really much else you can say about it, is there? But um, yeah. Birdie, he's a he's a bit of a underrated character, actually. He's really good in Alpha. Obviously, he's from the original Street Fighter. Um, he's from Street Fighter 1 way back in 1987. And he was the third last character, I believe. And he was a character that was set in London and um there was a developer's name as graffiti in the background i think it was dog walker or something i can't remember but um, here we are in stage two sakura man sakura is such a good addition to street fighter she really is um this was her first ever game i believe in the street fighter series she was introduced in um alpha actually i could be wrong Maybe her first entrance into the Street Fighter series was EX, Street Fighter EX plus Alpha. Could, yeah, it might, it might have been that. I mean, if you guys know, tell me in the comments. On, I think it was either this or EX plus Alpha on PlayStation 1. Um, either way, look at this stage, man. It's just beautiful. The little kid playing uh, the computer in the background. I think he's playing a... Is it? He's either playing something on the TV or as a handheld. I know they redid this in Street Fighter 5 and it looks beautiful. But it's such a this is why i love this game look at the artwork in it it's it's beautiful yeah i could be wrong i'm not sure whether this is sakura's first game it's either this or ex plus alpha but she started off in rival schools which was a really really unknown fighter which is if you guys ever get the chance to play that on the playstation one if you could seek it out really worth buying um, it's really worth owning it's an amazing amazing game here we are with charlie i was talking about this guy before um, he is, I, I personally prefer Guile, as I said before in my previous Ryu commentary, um, but I think he is a great character. Um, I like his design, Ooh, that was a good combination. Oh, I just need to uh, apologise, I made a mistake in my previous commentary actually. I did actually say that, um, and this was MLA Gaming UK, if you guys don't know him, please subscribe to his channel. But he pointed out the mistake I made in my last video. I said that um, M. Bison was changed to Vega, and Vega was changed to M. Bison in Super Street Fighter 2. Uh, in Street Fighter 2, World Warrior. Um, uh, it, I said originally it was, um, in my old video, I said it was M. Bison changed with uh, Balrog. And um, it wasn't, it was, M, it was M. Bison changed with Vega. So. Thank you, Emily, for pointing that out. You star. Delsum, look at this stage. I think this is the best Delsum stage. This is easily the best Delsum stage. The one in Alpha 3 comes close, I think. It's, 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 it's a, maybe some would argue it's a bit more detailed of a background, but I think this one is more atmospheric with the lighting and... I believe that's his wife in the background. I believe that's Delsum's wife. It's just such a, it's such a, a well-designed background, you know. 
far better than the one in Street Fighter 2. I never liked the one in Street Fighter 2 with the elephants. Bloody, the sound of the elephants used to really annoy me in, <laughs> in that version as well. Good match. Oh, look at that, look at that. Boom. I love the outfits in this game, they're so good. Whew. See, he. Dalson was never better than he was in the Alpha series. Um, I, I, too slow and clunky in the original Street Fighter 2 series. But they fixed him in this. They gave them the forward barrel roll with his head, um, which really makes a big difference. And he's just faster. He's more, he's more fluid in this version. Here is one of the best backgrounds in any Street Fighter game. Look at this. I mean, look at the artwork in this background. It's gorgeous. This is the final fight stage because it's Guy, obviously. And you've got all the final fight characters in the background. You've got Cody, you've got Hagar, you've got Hugo from Street Fighter 3. Um, all the characters that you uh, can play and obviously fight against Hugo. I mean, I, this is just a great background. This is when, uh, you know, final fight mixed with Street Fighter, which was like a momentous thing for fans. Because obviously, if you guys don't know this, um, Street Fighter and Final Fight have a connected history because the fi first Final Fight game was originally going to be the sequel to the first Street Fighter and it was going to be called Street Fighter 89. So, um, yeah. A little bit of trivia there for you. Boom. Oh, damn. Yeah, I just love the animation in this game. It's gorgeous. That is a hell of a kick there by, by Guy. Ooh. You gotta be careful with Guy because those those um Yeah, he's he's really dangerous. Those kicks he does, those bicycle kicks, really really difficult to um to dodge. He's actually even harder in Alpha One. He's Guy is one of the toughest characters to beat in the arcade mode in Alpha One. Um, oh, and another thing I should say about this playthrough is um, I didn't have to edit any of this because, like I said in my last video, I usually edit all my videos so that um, I do a clean arcade playthrough. But I didn't have to. I got straight through on this, which is great. Um, it was nice to be able to just go through and think, oh, I don't have to edit anything. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, damn, I nearly got a finisher there. Look at that. Okay, I just love his artwork in this game. It's just so beautiful. This is one of Sagat's most beautiful looking stages. I just love it. This is my favorite um, Sagat stage. It just looks, I mean, look at look at the detail in the background. It's just gorgeous. Mind you though, the, the, uh, the statue is a lot bigger in this version than it ever has been before, but you see this from a different angle in Street Fighter Alpha. Uh, Warriors Dreams, Street Fighter Alpha 1, you see it from the foot down at the other end. But obviously the statue in... Um, oh god, perfect there. The statue in uh, it's the Street Fighter 2 games is much smaller in the Sagat stage. I will destroy you. And that's black in there. You won't get anywhere in Street Fighter unless you learn how to block. Really, it, Street Fighter is a great game, it's specifically the Alpha series. It's a great set of games to learn how to find the basics of fighting games, really. You know, about blocking, countering moves. Um, it's it, it's a really good you know, learning block for, for doing that. Um, and I think if, if you start off in Street Fighter, you will find it quite easy to get into most fighting games. Because let's be honest, most fighting games have pretty much copied Street Fighter at some point or another. Um, even the ones that are very different, like Tekken 3D, you know, fighters, they've taken inspiration, you know, with a lot of the way the kicks are and, and different things like that. God damn, he's a beast in this. Last two stages, and Bison.
I believe this is the same forest, the same area where he is in Alpha 3 in the stage where there's like uh, the lightning in the background and it's it's like in the evening or the dusk. <sighs> Look at that. How the hell did I get that? How did I get a perfect on M. Bison? That's insane. Well, it is a cool one. Hey, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy to think how much of a creep M. Bison actually is, uh, like with the ladies in, in the Street Fighter Legacy. Um, like I, if you saw my last video, like he was hitting on Cammy, or he pretended to Cammy that there was something going on between the two of them. I mean, he's a really creepy old guy, isn't he? He's just like, um, great, great baddie, but he's a proper kind of like, Ooh, a slimy one. Um, Raul Julia played him really well in the film. I thought he he maybe not the the slimy side, but he definitely did that. You know, he he just made a great M Bison. I thought. Here we are, the final guy, Gen. Now Gen is he's the old guy from Street Fighter One. He made a return in this, and uh, he taught Ryu and Ken, and. Uh, Obviously, Akuma wants to defeat him to make himself the ultimate champion. There's a bit more lore to it than that, but Gen is a great character. I love using him, and it's. I, I always wanted. Um, it was always a dream, I think, of most people in the original Street Fighter Two to be able to play Gen, and um, because they were like, you know, he, a lot of people liked him. The people who did like Street Fighter One loved Gen, and his moveset is quality. He's just. He's like a mix of. Guile and Chun Li, and a little bit of Yi Hongdo as well. He doesn't do uh, any projectiles, but he does this thing where he goes through you, um, and he goes. If you didn't see that, it was. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh no, I blacked it. Yeah, I mean, look at the look at the detail on that background. It's gorgeous. There it is, that's the move, but I blocked it obviously. The, the lighting in this level, it's one of my favorite stages ever. Look at that, the, the water, beautiful. Capcom did an amazing job. And there we are. Come on, just a little closer. What? He knew he's gone. Where did he go? Kuma looks off into the distance. Worthy opponents have challenged me. Maybe this world is not as weak as I thought. You damn right, Akuma. You damn right. I will be next. To die. <laughs> How's that for an evil laugh? There we go, we got the credits because it's uh, it's our boy Akuma. Yeah, I mean, you know, the thing is, if, if you guys um, have never had the chance to play any of the Alpha games, I think, for me at least, they're the best games to get into uh, for Street Fighter. Um, and I also had this dream when I was a kid that I'd be able to get to play all the Alpha games. Um, and like, you know, to be able to do like a video recording of them or something. Back in the VHS days, I'll show my age now. And uh, look, here we are now, look, in the future, and you're able to uh, stream games and record footage. And I'm able to give a commentary. How cool is this, you know? I'm able to do it now, share my passion for these games. As I do with uh, my boys Tony, MLA, Ultimate Mink, and Predator Game in HD. And uh, there's lots more shout outs to come over the next few weeks, boys and girls. Yeah, so, uh, that's Street Fighter Alpha 2. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough and um, if you liked it, leave a comment below and uh, tell me what you thought. Until next time, Hadouken!